SPE Tools recently sent me one of their insert cutters for free so I could do a review. And I chose their insert cutter to show you the differences between it and a typical roundover bit. The tool needed for changing inserts is included in the package, and the bit itself is well protected, bubble wrapped inside a plastic container. What sets this bit apart is that the carbide cutters are not brazed onto the shank. They're mounted with screws. The individual carbide cutters can be quickly and easily removed should they become dull or damaged. The inserts and the shank of the bit are carefully machined to ensure that they reassemble in exactly the same location, shape, and size as when they came from the factory. Now if your bit gets dull or damaged, you only need to replace the cutting edges and not the entire bit. I ran this bit through its paces, working with different machines and different materials. And I wouldn't hesitate to use this bit on any project that I needed it. The real question is, why buy an insert bit when it's almost twice the price of a standard bit? And the answer is usage. It's much less expensive to replace the inserts than to buy a whole new bit. So when it's a bit that you use all the time, like a quarter inch roundover, the upfront cost is an investment that pays off every time you replace the inserts. Most of the router bits I use to this day are not insert tools, but they're becoming more affordable and available through companies like SPE. And that makes them worth considering for any bits that you use and replace on a regular basis. Be sure to like and subscribe and visit woodcademy.com for more great reviews and other woodworking content.